I'd love to see a big tarpon and a big cobia with, you know, with a big bug in its mouth. Howdy from Texas. This is Heath Temple with Bugs Fishing, and this is the weekly update. Um, update on the Ned Bug Project. We got another shipment of Ned Minnow Bugs, so that means we have plenty of Ned Minnows and Ned Bugs ready to ship to you. Redfish, trout, flounder, and snook. Uh, customers have caught all those here recently, so I hope you will try them. I'm still waiting on thread to get the next, uh, you know, get the next set of materials sent to the factory. Black gold, blue crab, all the curl tails, and then the beastie bugs. The, the order is more than six months old. I'm getting frustrated. It's it's kind of depressing to be honest to have everything ready to go and just having to sit and wait. I'm. I'm much more comfortable, much more energetic, much more talkative, much more everything when I get to act, when I get to do stuff. And so it's been really tough to just wait on this thread, but um, I don't know what else to do. I'm, I'm stuck. It will, I, I've been assured that it's um, at the front of the line, they're working on it, and so it should happen any day now. I should get it, that, that thread shipment, and then we'll get stocked back up on curl tails and beastie bugs. In the meantime, I've been talking to a buddy of mine named Brian Arnold at Bird of Prey Fishing, and they're a jig head company in Florida, and they specialize in big jig heads for big fish, and they have come up with a way to make jig heads out of circle hooks. That's very interesting to me because I've had really good experience catching tarpon, for example, on circle hooks. Brian sent me a bunch of jig heads to start tying, uh, checking out, tie some prototypes on to see what I like. I posted some on Instagram. Um, a lot of people like the idea, um, especially for Cobia, so I'll show you some of those, but I'd love to hear your feedback. So Shane, Shane just walked in on me finishing a snapper jig. I've got introduced to the guys over at Bird of Prey. Bird of Prey Fishing, they're a, they specialize in big jig heads. Big jig heads with circle hooks, actually. They're over in Florida, I got introduced to them. There's a guy named Brian Ar Arnold over there, a really good dude. And the only time I've caught, I've caught two big tarpon in my life. One just under 100 pounds, one a little bit over 100 pounds. Both of them were caught on big circle hooks. And Bird of Prey makes big circle, I'm sorry, big circle hook jig heads. And so I get, I'm going to get to go try to catch some tarpon in Belize here in a few weeks. And so I reached out to Brian with uh, asking him about some stuff that I can test out. And so he sent me several, he sent, sent me several options. And then he also sent me some of these jig heads that are used mostly for snapper. And so I posted about them on Instagram and several people are gonna buy them to test. And so just wrapping, just wrapping up, tying some prototypes for some people to test. So before I put the, uh, before I put the head cement on the thread wraps, I'll show you. It's like, it's two pieces of rabbit on the side, some palmered rabbit and then some palmered flash. And so just like on a curl tail jig, this top piece of rabbit. So just like on a curl tail jig, this top piece of rabbit has a slip cut in it, so it pulls off. And so you could add, you could add bait right here. You could add a soft plastic, whatever you wanted to, you know, on the back of this circle jig hook, circle, yeah, circle jig head. So that's uh, anyway. I've tied a few of these. I'll show you some of the other stuff I tied, and you can tell me what you think, what you'd like to throw them to. As soon as I posted them on Instagram, people were asking about cobia jigs. And so I'm going to be working with, like I said, Brian over at Bird of Prey Fishing and uh, working on some more jig heads that I can tie up and see if it's something we want to put into production. But I'd love to hear what y'all think about this and then the other ones I'll show you. So this is a more of a shad type head. This is an ounce and a half and a big circle jig hook this that could you could that would handle tarpon and so there's a little flash rabbit since these are a little longer I use the the bling strips to give them a little uh, little 
like they're stiffer and so less likely to foul around that hook and then I put double rattles right there and a screw lock so you could secure a uh, saw plastic and so that's an idea for a big tarpon tarpon jig this is called the hex head by bird of prey fishing apparently that you get some really good darting action from this head and so I tied this articulated you know bright colors more for cobia and I'm gonna send this to a fellow that fishes for them to see uh, see what they think but orange and chartreuse combination um, anyway so just playing around with some big stuff it's a uh, I'd love to see a big tarpon and a big cobia with you know with a big bug in its mouth so and then this is how it starts it's something that I've thought about doing for a long time and people have been asking for you know big big heavy jigs for snook um, for cobia for tarpon something that's on my radar um, and so this summer I'm gonna try to have a bunch of prototypes tied up for you guys to use so uh, take a look at them let me know what you think and uh, if you fish for these species often you want to try some I'll do my best to tie some up to sell you that you can fish this summer um, nothing will go into production until you know leading up to next summer but I'd love you know just to I don't know if y'all realize this, but when you catch a big fish on a bug and you send me a picture of you holding a big fish like this smiling, I feel like I was there with you. I get some satisfaction, not some, I get a lot of satisfaction from that. You, seeing you guys with a big cobia, that I, I have yet to catch a cobia, it's on my list. A uh, big cobia, a big snook, or a big tarpon with a bug in its mouth, I would just absolutely love that. And so that's why I'm starting this project. And like I said, take a look at the prototypes. Let me know what you think, and if it's something you'd like to try, um, I'll do my best to tie up some prototypes for you to fish. But that is the latest. We got Ned bugs, we got Ned minnow bugs. We're still waiting on thread to stock back up on, you know, the best, the favorites, the curl tail jigs and stuff. But I'll, I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to patiently wait. It stinks, uh, but that's life. Uh, let me know what you think about those prototypes. Again, really appreciate your support. So be free, be wise, be blessed. Catch you later.